this growth stock could soar 165% according to Wall Street. Looking here at Yahoo Finance, their five analyst price targets for this stock suggest this stock should be trading at $3.26 per share. However, the stock is trading currently at $1.23 per share. Looking at the range of estimates, all five analysts value this growth stock above where it's at right now with the lowest target at $2.30 and the highest target at $5. $5. That would be four times higher than where the stock price is at today. So significant bullishness from analysts on Wall Street on this growth stock. So what is this growth stock? It's Fubo TV. Fubo TV surprisingly has significant upside according to Wall Street. I say surprisingly because I have not been bullish on this on this stock for several uh I would say since I started following it about a year, two years two maybe three years ago I'm not quite sure how long it's been but I've been following this stock for you know a while now and I've been recommending this as a sell to my readers and followers and so the stock price is down significantly over that time so if you had been following that suggestion you will have saved a lot of money avoiding Fubo TV stock but let's take a look at the financials here and and try and understand what Wall Street sees in this company uh, for one the revenue growth is explosive I mean the company has absolutely boomed in terms of revenue over the last um, you know ever since it's been uh, a public company it seems like revenue has been exploding 1 billion in its most recent trailing 12 months and before uh before that it was uh less than 300 million two years ago in july of 2020 so explosive revenue growth one reason why uh, wall street may be enthusiastic about this stock if you look at its market cap it's way down from where it was initially um, the market cap had soared all the way close to five billion dollars it's now below uh, 260 million it's trading at a market capitalization of 256 million dollars that's down from the high close to uh, five billion dollars and the stock price alone is down you know over 90 percent in this time so unfortunately if you had been a shareholder of this stock you will have lost a lot of money um, over this time but uh, Wall Street thinks that this selling is overdone and they think that it's time for Fubo TV stock to turn around and if you look at Fubo TV's operating income over the trailing 12 months you do see a turnaround beginning here losses look like they peaked and they are improving operating loss of 411 million in its most recent trailing 12 months and i've been uh, i have a few videos out recently on fubo tv stock um, highlighting that finally management has taken steps to reduce these losses on the bottom line uh two big steps actually three big steps i will say uh number one raising prices which i have been calling for a long time now for Fubo TV to raise prices because they lose so much money on the bottom line and Fubo TV has to pay um, for content rights on a per subscriber basis so the more subscribers they have the more they have to pay for content so it makes sense for them to raise subscription prices so that when they do get a new subscriber the revenue minus costs are better matched for the company are more in equilibrium and it's not generating significant losses sure it might lead to slower subscriber growth and slower revenue growth but then the business is on more sustainable footing and it's not losing so much money on the bottom line 
which I would prefer as an investor instead of just looking for explosive growth and losing a ton of money on the bottom line. So that's one thing management has done. They have implemented a, uh, a minimum of a $5 per month price increase. The second thing they've done is reduced content spending. They've looked at their content budget and they've selected a few of their items that they think their viewers are not watching as much and so they've reduced those they've eliminated those so again they've increased price and they've reduced cost creating more of a margin there in terms of you know co uh, revenue minus costs and then finally they um, I want to say a limit I don't want to say eliminated but changed their strategy in terms of their uh, if you weren't aware, they had ambitions to have their own sports book, their online sports book. It fits really well because they are a sports centered streaming service. So having an online sports book made sense. Although it was really expensive, Fubo TV was having to spend millions of dollars uh, to, you know, get the permits, the technology, the licensing and all of that. And so they put that on on pause and kind of shifted the strategy instead of doing it by themselves they're going to look for partners which is going to reduce the spending there so again another item reducing their costs and better balancing that revenue minus expense uh, equation and that's starting to show up now if you look at the company's operating income the losses tick higher so a little you're starting to see a little bit of evidence here and maybe Wall Street sees this as you know a beginning of a very fruitful next 12 to 24 months for the company as these policy changes really start to show up in the company's financial statements I want to thank the Motley Fool for sponsoring this video visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now and finally, the valuation. I mean, if you look at the forward price to sales ratio, 0 0.270, way down from the near six forward price to sales ratio the company was trading at early in 2021. So you're getting the stock at a much better valuation and you've got a lot of upside here if management can get things right. If management can get things right, You've got a lot of upside. My issue with the company has been the fact that management has not gotten things right. They've let those losses just pile up and up and up for several quarters before finally they started making these changes to reduce their uh, losses on the bottom line. It took a long time for them to do this. And so that's where I had grown skeptical about the company is all of these losses piling up and management not doing anything about it. Well, now they started doing something about it. But I still wouldn't recommend investors buy this stock until there's more evidence in the financial statements of improvements. I mean, this little tick higher, you know, this isn't enough to convince me to go ahead and jump in and buy the stock, right? I'm... Uh, the type of investor where I look for more evidence of improvement before I put my money in. I'm okay with being a little bit late, but I also want to reduce that downside risk. And I'll be, I'm, I'm more okay with reducing downside risk at the expense of reducing some of the upside for me personally as an investor. You might be different, but I, I prefer to invest in that way. I try to uh, reduce the possibility of disasters as much as possible and then if if you know if I if my gain on the investment is hundred and forty percent instead of a hundred and ninety percent I'm not going to be too upset about that so I'll reduce some of my upside in favor of uh, lessening my downside all right but that's all I've got for this video uh, on this stock that you know, has 165% upside according to Wall Street. All right, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in again next time.